All right, Hag. Any last words? You're going to let her speak after what she's done. It's the right of any mortal. And what about Dukathus? Did this hag give him his say? Sorax is right, Clara. We don't have to stoop to that level. And besides, I want to hear her beg. <laughs> so, Hag, what of it? Anything to say before we send you to the gods? Seven days. What's that? Speak up, witch! In seven days, a fog will descend on all your houses. It will consume your livestock, your spouses, your children. And it will Zorax, continue for, for all eternity, until the four of you are forever bound to the void! Well, that was disappointing. I thought you'd at least offer us gold. Monsters don't fear death. And they have no understanding of mercy. It was wrong to let her speak. Perhaps you're right. But either way, she's dead now. Turketho's soul will have peace. This isn't your concern, stranger. Best you move along. She was a witch. Gods only know the evil she's wrought. But she won't be a nuisance any longer. We're witch hunters. We fight to cleanse the land of their foul sorcery. I suppose you could say that. Although it's been some time since we've gotten together like this. But when I heard what happened to Torquethus, I didn't have a choice but to avenge his death. An old Argonian friend of ours. A few years back, a lot of us quit the group to stay home and raise a family. Torquethus... He was more of a loner, so he kept up the fight on his own. I hope my husband doesn't find out about this. I promised him when we married, no more adventures. Hags and their curses. My children drink rotmat for breakfast. There's nothing in this world that can kill them. I would have enjoyed watching this hag plead for her life. Poor Decathus. He could have settled down like the rest of us, but he loved the hunt more than any woman. I don't understand, Sorax. Why can't you come with us? It's complicated, but right now you need to get on that boat and stay with our son. If the gods will it, he may live to see the dawn. And what about you? Don't worry. I can take care of myself. It's the boy that needs you. What the boy needs is his father, alive and well. You do good to remember that. I love. I will. Oh, it's you. Strange that we meet again, given these circumstances. My son, he's taken ill. And worse yet, I think it might have to do with what happened that day. If you asked me that a few days ago, and every day prior, I would have agreed. But right now my son is on the brink of death, and not even the healers know why. Yes, but there is only one way to be sure. We have to find the others. If their houses are in peril, then we'll know for sure. Our son took ill recently. Sorax blames himself, but I have no idea why. I've sent him to a healer, but I came back to check on my foolish husband. Gods only know what he's planning. Sorax, you fool! brought this plague upon my house. So it's true then. Was it your husband? He's not my husband anymore. He's a bloody corpse. What happened? He was working the mill, same as always. Ten years we've been married and he never got so much as a splinter. The other day a log got jammed. He went over to inspect it. Then, then the mill just 
turned on. Like it had a mind of its own. It could have been an accident. And what about the elf's children? Was that an accident too? No. This is true. Yeah. Carolyn. My firstborn. Playing with the family dog of all things. My son has taken ill as well. You see? It's the curse. It's poisoned all our houses and there's only one way to end it. Hold on. There has to be another way. Hate to say it, but Clara's right. We talked it over and you're the strongest among us. Which means you'll have to die first. Wait, you don't want to do this. Killing me wouldn't have helped. Even if they had given themselves to the cross, the plague would haunt our houses forever. She said there were four. Four who had to die for the curse to be lifted. And even with my death, I only count three. I'm sorry, friend. But it must be done. I only hope for the sake of our houses. That both our lives end here. <laughs> 